Buffalo is cooking up again. Um, I know some people has been asking if I have closed my kitchen. Uh, no, um, I have to stop recording for a few days because remember when I did my when I tried to uh, video shoot my garlic oil, my phone actually dropped into my garlic oil. So he has sacrificed for me for the for the sake of garlic oil. Now today I'm going to do a very easy stir fry veg vegetable mushrooms here and also. Uh, cabbage, China cabbage with uh, with eggs. So first, you heat up the oil, uh, the wok. As you probably notice, I I have been changing to a stainless steel wok right now, and from a non-stick, one thing for sure is for a stainless steel wok, you actually need to put a lot more oil. Okay, but of course. Um, it's still within your control you get to control how much you want to put so you many people say the chinese cabbage is a bit uh, uh, too cool you know chinese sensei they say too cold for the body so you might want to put, add in some ginger One good tip for Chinese stir fry is always when you are try to make all your most of your ingredients in similar shapes. Like this, you can actually notice some um, slices thick slices like this so I actually cut my Chinese cabbage in a very similar way so that it can actually get cooked in a more evenly manner okay this is one thick one uh, thick that you can, you can learn and I the cabbage it turns You can actually smell very fragrant uh, egg smell right now. Okay, I will add in a little bit of uh, hot water. You can put in even better if you can add in some uh, chicken stock or broth. Put in some mushroom, uh, oyster sauce. Some salt. Follow with sugar. White pepper. I have some black pepper with me. This is self grounded. Now I 
put in the remaining of the Chinese cabbage. Notice I didn't actually add in the garlic just now because I'm going to use my garlic oil later. Okay, my, remember my homemade garlic oil? All my most of my cookings are all very simple home cooked meal that you can actually finish cooking it within ten minutes or so. Because most of us here now who are staying in the big cities, we are all very busy. We just work for a whole day and uh, we don't have much time to prepare for the the family. But then again, having said all that, we still want to cook, right? So I'm giving you all some very simple and uh, quick. Uh, cooking ideas <coughs> That's the whole purpose of my cooking up our video That's when we find something's missing basically is the colors so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, red chili where I'm going to D6, yeah, remove all the seeds from the red chili so that it won't be spicy. I will get the color and the fragrance from the red chili itself, but not the spice, not the spiciness. You need to be very careful, especially your families are like mine, you don't really eat spicy. I eat, I eat a lot of spice, the spicy food and hot stuff, but uh, when you cook, you have to think of the person eating your the person eating your food not just what you eat <coughs> okay almost done you can starch it if you want sometimes I don't quite like starch it so this round today I'm not going to start it. Okay, you can if you want to. It's really up to you. <coughs> Today I'm actually cooking porridge, so I'm going to eat it together with the porridge. Okay. Now I'm going to add in the garlic oil. Okay, the garlic oil. Now you are seeing the colors is actually much better now. Alright. Off. Off the fire. And give it a few drops of uh, sesame oil. Pull it over. Chinese cabbage is one of my most favorite uh, veggie because it's very sweet, natural sweetness. So in this simple dish, you have eggs, you have the natural sweetness from the cabbage, uh, the mushroom, and not forgetting from and not forgetting from uh, the eggs. Okay. 
There you go. <coughs> this is the stir fry Chinese cabbage with mushroom with egg. Thank you very much. Hope you go and uh, subscribe to my you Cooking Apa YouTube channel and click the little bell notification button to get all my future um, video, cooking video. Thank you.